see what he's read. Uh, what are you guys' first reaction to the post credit scene? Oh, interesting, we hadn't talked about that yet. I remember after the cinema not believing the thought of a different movies connecting like a comic world, or a comic would. Uh, it was unbelievable and would never th- thought we would have movies like Infinity War ever. To me, it's one of the greatest end credit scene to a movie ever. I guess to what it represents in the long run, yeah. Um, mm. The line, I'm here to talk to you about the Avengers Initiative and cutting it to black gives me goosebumps every time. Yeah, you know what? I, I think... I don't think I thought anything of it, to be honest, the first time. Because Not Marvel that. movies for a while had post credit scenes. Like, especially yeah. the X-Men movies had post credit scenes. So I was used to them, so I watched the post credit scene. But I don't think the idea was ever... like I never. I don't think I watched that and ever thought, oh, they're going to do a Captain America, then a Thor, and then they're going to have an Avengers movie where all of the movies connect. I don't think I ever thought that was what they would do, to be honest. I you just think maybe they'd put the Avengers in, like, an Iron Man 2 or 3 or something. Maybe, but I thought... Maybe it's just, like, an Easter egg. Like, a little, oh, if you're a fan of the comics, you know the Avengers. But, like, they wouldn't necessarily do anything with it. I don't know. Yeah. I guess I guess I never really thought of it before. Because it is a huge thing. And they've been really successful with it. So, I guess... I don't know. I guess I just well, never really thought well, about it. I My thing is here, right? I have been on this MCU bandwagon since Iron Man 1. I loved Iron Man 1 so much when it came out. I've, I've been, I'm, I'm more into it now than I ever was, but I was always like a follower of it. I was like, I love this. I'm into it. I'd always go see the new movies. Now I'm like, this is my favorite fucking thing in movies right now is the MCU. I fucking am upset. I like I'm on the Star Wars at the moment. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, um, if you're like, oh, do you want to watch episode nine right now or Endgame? I'm like, I would watch Endgame. No, it's not even close. Like, how, you know what I mean? If someone, like, right now, you can watch episode 9 of Star Wars or Endgame. Is there even a hesitation for you that you're going to watch Endgame straight away? No. Yeah, exactly. But the thing was, as a kid, until the MCU, I wasn't a Marvel person. Right. I've never liked X-Men. I liked the Spider-Man movies enough, but, I, you know, I was always a Batman kid. I liked Superman as a kid. I was more of a DC guy. I knew who the Justice League were. I didn't even know what the Avengers were. Like, right. that's how much of a non-Marvel fan I was. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is the Avengers? Like, I've never heard of them. And ha- Harlan, my brother, goes... He goes... Oh, I remember him telling me... He's like, oh, they... I remember when it, the Avengers movie got announced. Like, they were making it. He goes, oh... Because I'd seen Thor, and I hadn't seen Captain America 1 yet. To Iron Man 1 and 2. And I didn't think they'd connected. Like, I didn't actually know that Thor was connected to Iron Man. Like, I knew they were Marvel. No, I had but no I didn't idea. Realize, but I, I, I had didn't... no idea until recently, like, relatively recently, that all of these Marvel movies that have been coming out that were super popular were connected. I had no fucking clue. That's so fucking weird, dude. Because what, I'd never watched are you them. Retarded? I watched Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2. I watched. Uh, that was it, actually. So, you're, I hadn't so what you're saying is, one. whilst we're over the years of doing podcasts together, there was a period you didn't even know this. Yeah, because you told me about it. I told you about it. It was on a podcast. I remember I was on. It was on a podcast because I think we were talking about Marvel movies. Because I, I, I specifically remember a conversation where you said something about the MCU, and I'm like, "What the fuck is the MCU?" And then you explained it, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, of course," because they did like the Avengers and stuff. And then, then I realized, and then I watched all of them. Oh, I fucking hate you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just, for some reason, I'd never seen them. I'd never seen Avengers either. I'd seen I Iron Man your, 1 hey, and bro, Iron Man 2. I saved your life. Like, you didn't yeah. know what Kingdom Hearts was before me. Yeah, that's weird. You didn't know what MCU was. How did like, I not I've... know what the MCU was? I can't dude. R- imagine what that was like, but I remember I didn't know that all these movies were connected. Like, because I remember I'd seen, like, the Amazing Spider-Man movies, and they came out around the same time as, like, I don't know, like, Age of Ultron and stuff like that and so i i didn't know all of like i didn't know which were connected where like what what, because i didn't know there was such a thing as the mc i didn't realize there was like a title for it um for all of these like connected movies i genuinely had no idea which is really weird to think about i think i mean but i mean i had some idea but not properly because i remember watching iron man 2 in the cinema i remember the post credit scene for that with the yeah. Thor's hammer and everything, and I remember that was sort of the moment where I was like, "Oh, okay, they're doing like they're gonna do a th- th- Thor thing in this. Who the fuck is Thor?" Yeah, um, I, so. I just remember it was a big deal in Australia, Thor, because it was Chris Hemsworth playing it. Ah, yeah, and it was this big break in Hollywood sort of thing. 
Um, so I remember like in the build up to Thor, like there was lots of news about him. So I remember going, you know, got excited to see this. I'm like, I didn't know who Thor was. Um, but then I remember going to, the, I hadn't seen Captain America until after I saw the Avengers. Um, That's really so, weird. Yeah. So I went and saw the Avengers cinemas and I was excited because I love Iron Man and I, I loved the first Thor movie. Um, I don't, I mean, I still like it a lot now, but like the movies are so much better now than they were then. So it's like, I don't really think about Thor anymore. Yeah. Um, whereas at the time there was three movies I'd seen, you know, Iron Man 1, 2 and then Thor. Uh, and, but when the trailer was out and like, it was it cut building towards it, I'm like, what the hell's the Avengers? Oh no, Harlan, t- my brother told me, oh, they're making an Avengers movie. I'm like, what's the Avengers? He's like, oh, it's Marvel's, um, Justice League. And I'm like, oh, cause I knew, I fucking grew up with DC. Like I knew who the Justice League were. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's how it had to be explained to me. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of lame. The Avengers, what a lame name. I remember thinking this. I'm like, <laughs> What a, I was like, what a shitty version of the, so I said, oh, what? So it's like a kind of shit version of the Justice League. I'm like, who's in the Avengers? Well, Iron Man. I'm like, well, Iron Man's cool. Thor, Thor's cool. And Captain America, I'm like, oh, cookie cutter, like idiot in that stupid uniform. <laughs> okay. And then Hulk, I'm like, oh, whatever. I really liked Hulk as a kid, actually. I really, really liked Hulk as a kid. But like, I never did. That, I've never been that, into Hulk. The first time I was Hulk ever into Hulk was Thor Ragnarok, where I'm like, oh, he's actually interesting. Okay. You don't like him like the Avengers movies? He's fine. Like, he smashes yeah, things. He's fine. Like, cool, yeah, that's yeah, cool yeah. CGI, I guess. But, like, yeah, it's not that yeah. interesting. He's great in Ragnarok. That's his best. Yeah. yeah. That's the best Hulk he movie speaks. of all time. It's still Ragnarok. He's like, speak. that's the best he Hulk movie of all time. and he says funny things. And I'm like, oh, he's fun. I like him. Yeah, a bit of a laugh, bit of banter with Hulk. And then he's a um, little bitch in Infinity War, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, no, I always loved from the Eric Banner movie. The... I really? loved the Hulk from that point. Yeah, yeah, I loved that movie as a kid. I'm, oh. I don't. I'm sure it, I haven't seen it in forever, and I'm sure it doesn't hold up. But I loved no. it at the time. No, oh god, I was scared that was going to be another Hook moment. Then, like, oh yeah, go watch the Eric Butter Hulk movie. Yeah, it but hey, up. we've been through this. I hadn't. I haven't seen Hook in like ten years. No, nah, but you I defended that defen- far too I, well. I, I for did someone defend that hasn't it far it. too well. <laughs> yeah, I know I did. I, I just wanted it to hold up so bad. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. I'm sorry. And it became a fucking meme. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> the, uh, oh, yeah, the Avengers, yeah. yeah. But Avengers then when too. I, because I remember I went and saw the Avengers movie, and I was sitting there watching, and, like, Iron Man was, you know, sh- is there right at the start, and I was like, couldn't wait for Thor to show up, I was like, went for Thor, and I just kept thinking, fuck Captain America, what a bitch character. Like, that's <laughs> what I was thinking, what a, I, Captain America, I love so much, I can't even describe it. Like, he's my, so far and away my favourite character in Marvel. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's so weird to think back. When I first saw the first Avenger movie, I thought he was such a bitch, cookie-cutter character. Like, oh, what a what a bitch. Like, you know. That's so weird. Yeah. And I hate it, but I hate his uniform in the first Avenger movie. It's the worst. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. It looks so fucking bad. horrific. Yeah, the, such a cookie-cutter uniform. And that's why I hate him. And I'm like, you've got Tony battling, like, ten people, and there's Cap fighting one guy. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. you got to take on one guy. You, don't, you have a shield? Oh, that's cool, bro. Oh my god, I just was like, what a bitch character. Why and then they... like and then I remember going to you know, the Winter Soldier came out and like I went with Harlan and, and my mate Corey and I with I'm thinking, Oh, you know, it's the MCU, so I'm gonna see it but I don't I didn't have high expectations for it. And then from the opening scene I'm like, the, Captain America's fucking the man and then after the movie I'm like, That was the best Marvel movie. <laughs> that was the <laughs> be, by far the best Marvel movie and still this day top two for me is like very close to winter soldier and and cap three mm. cap two and three are the best ones like so yeah it's crazy to think how that changed you know what? i find it strange talking about captain america's uniform why does it look so bad in avengers because he, the one in the first movie his, is great. the first avenger looks looks good yeah so why did they decide to pick this horrible looking because they they literally picked his, the uniform that he, he would tool with not even the combat uniform because they just wanted it to be as a symbolic uniform. Yeah, they went ugly. with like it was like the retro style uniform. Yeah, I don't know who made that. Like decision, the sixties one. Wrong decision. Yeah, yeah. Well, they got rid of Joss Whedon, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so he went and finished about. Justice League for yeah, Zack Snyder. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Stupid. Anyway, but the post credit scene. Post credit. Post credit scene is. 
is uh, it's a very good scene. Great. I love it now. Like the, like uh, Billy it's, said, you introduced um, Nick Fury. It's always yeah. it, like going back and before Infinity War came out, rewatching um, all the MCU movies. That post credit scene from Iron Man One is really impactful now, knowing what comes after. Like just seeing Nick Fury and when he says about the Avengers Initiative, yeah, it gives me goosebumps too. Looking back on it, but obviously the first time I watched it. I didn't really think anything. I'm like, oh yeah, cool. I don't know what any of that means. Who's this guy? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah in same hindsight, here. Same it's here. really cool.